I want to go over how to make symmetrical objects or compositions on Adobe Illustrator. First, here are some objects over here. I want to rotate them. So let's do tr right click, transform, rotate, and I can control how much they're rotated. Let's say 45 degrees. That's kind of neat. I can also manually rotate them by moving my cursor close to the edge and rotating them manually like so. Let's show you how to rotate this one. There we go. And again, if you want to rotate it using your mouse, right click, transform, rotate. Let's do 135. There we go. All right. So let's say I want to make a symmetrical image. First thing I'm going to do is select all these objects. I'm going to do Command G and that will actually group them together. Now I can copy them, paste them, right click, transform, reflect, vertical. Now I can line this up exactly with the other one, like so. Use my arrow key and move it to the right. Now I have something that's symmetrical. Let's say I want it exactly in the middle of the composition, turn my grid on. I can grab any of these shapes, move it over, and let's say I want it right in the middle, so I'll put it right on that middle line like so. Now I can use my arrow keys to move them over a little bit, zoom in. Again, here's my middle line right here. I'll have it be about three spaces on the other side. All right, perfectly symmetrical object. Now let's say I want to do something more fancy. Let's say I want to do something uh, radially symmetric. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Delete one of these groups. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to use the rotate tool. The rotate tool is over here. The shortcut for that is R. If you forget, just hover your mouse over there so that you can use the shortcut R. Now I'll hold down Option, grab the center point while holding down Option, and let go. So I've moved that center point. Let's say I want to make something radially symmetric with 20 petals. So I'll do 360 divided by 20, and then I'll hit Copy. Now I'm going to hit Command D as in dummy to duplicate. I'll do that a few more times. And now, as you can see, I've made a radially symmetric object. And that's it. That's how you make a bilaterally symmetric object or a radially symmetric object.